Good morning. Happy New Year. Woo! 2018. Yes. Get in there. Uh, first video of the year. Um, I've been obviously busy with Christmas and all that stuff. Um, and I'm still waiting for a video camera. So anyway, uh, it's coming. It's on the way. He's got a knife. Someone stop him. Ah! Why have I got a knife? I'll tell you why. Because what happened, I went to work yesterday. Uh, week two of work this year and i was like oh i don't want to go to work and when i got there when i got there bum, bum, bam. glad i went glad i went to work yesterday so glad um so what is it it's heavy give it that bloody heavy um yeah result and i kind of know what it is Although I don't know exactly what it is. Um, anyway, that's why I've got a knife. Yeah, so don't be alarmed. I'm going to open this right now. Yeah, so eyes on the prize, eyes on the prize. Here we go. Uh, right. And, uh, right. Okay, here we go. Right, so that. It's a box. It's a cardboard box. Yeah, that's what I've always wanted. If I was a cat. Right. right, 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 yeah, bear with me, this is totally professional, this is how the pros do it, obviously, uh, right, now let me see, where's, where's the door, where's the bleeding door, here we go, here we go, here we go, Right. Oh, oh, yeah, we're getting there. Totally getting there. Totally getting there. Yeah. Right. Oh, I, I, I saw something. Did you see that? Did you see that? Bit of titillation there. Something. Oh. <laughs> right awesome right i've got obviously this is from uh dark ops dark ops who make uh really good terrain and stuff that's uh www.darkops.co.uk uh wow bleeding out right Oh, 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 yeah, that's for my cats. They're going to be so happy. They, they are totally, because I usually bring, when I go to the UK, like once a year, I usually bring something like this back for them. And I didn't go this year. What a meanie, what a meanie. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you. They are so, they are so, oh, I don't, oh. And this is obviously for me. <laughs> you know me too well. Right. Oh, I'm so happy. And not only that, I didn't even... These aren't even out yet. Right. Okay, let's have a look at these first before we start. On the, obviously, obviously, Dark Ops also do... Uh, laser cut acrylic pieces. I, I didn't even know they did that, so... Right, so these are, uh, ignore the, the colour banding, the, the, the plastic peels off, it's protective. Uh, you peel the plastic off and then you start using it. As anyone would know who's ever bought acrylic pieces. Um, so this is, this represents spooked. I think this will be clear acrylic. Let me just pull off, pull off the uh, protective coating. Da, 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 da. So obviously, waste man. Sorry, I, I'm all confused now. I'm all confused. Someone stop him. Uh, waste man, the skirmish game set in the. Sorry, my, I cut my nails. Like cut my nails, and I. Right, I'll have to get on this. 
some uh, some time later because this is enthralling, isn't it? We're trying to anyway, so that that's clear. I'm pretty sure it's clear. Um, is it clear? Yeah. Anyway, so got a bunch of these. So these are spooked. Yeah. So basically, when you roll to hit, okay, did I hit? Yes, I did. Okay, what's the, what what happens? And then if you roll a low number, then the uh, the target is at least spooked, uh, which means they're basically kind of stunned. They 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 lose an action basically in their ne next uh, activation. <laughs> right. So these must be crippled because, as you can see, there's the broken bone. So yeah, crippled, which means minus one action. Uh, sorry, l minus one power and minus two inches of move if you're a standard. Wow. Well, these are cool. All right, and these are, um, I guess, dead. Dead. Bum, bum, bum. All right, awesome. And these are meat, meat points because they look like, you got it. Meat! Meat points. Um, so the larger models that look like giants and, and giant robots and whatever, basically whatever you can think of, which, I, which is why I love this game. Um, if it's like really big, as in like, there he goes waving his hand about. Um, if he's really big, then instead of the usual like roll to hit, roll to wound, it is... Uh, he he or she has meat points, uh, which are basically hit points. And then you, when you get hit, you lose a few meat points and, until you roll over dead. Right. And these, quack, quack, these are duck tokens. Um, so if, if the model uh, spends an action, it can duck and then into, duck into cover. And then basically <clears throat> it's harder to, I think it's harder to hit or it gets extra extra armor points or something like that. Uh, it's not a thing I've used very much because I, I just like marching them towards each other and, and bashing the crap out of each other. <laughs> That's my strategy. Uh, right, what have we got here? Right. We have... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. All right, that looks like. Ah, oh, it looks like it could be a water tower. Yeah, I because it's got the ladder. Um, these are, I guess they go on top of each other to make like a cylinder. Um, and this is this holds the ladder and. Yeah, that looks like a water tower to me. So two different sized circles. So I guess it goes big, small, big, small, big, small. Probably. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do, actually, is let's have a look. What's up? Throw caution to the wind. He's opening the packet. He's opening the packet. He's in that case. Right, so I believe that's a spare bit of a uh, thing that fell out in the middle, so don't, don't panic. I do like to use these little bits as like bricks and stuff on uh, miniature bases and things like that. Yes. Yeah. All right. Ah, da, 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 da. What is going on? What? Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. These are the good. A good thing is a good sign is that they're they're kind of falling out the uh, sprue frame, um, which means they're not rigidly stuck in there and they're easy to just to push out. Yeah, like a cardboard tokens kind of thing. Right. Okay, so we've got the top one which you've already seen. Let's put that there for the minute. Uh, okay, now we've got the framework for the. Nice, we got, oh, I like, look at that detail. Look at that wood. 
wood panelling detail. That is awesome. So, I guess this is uh, th this is the legs of the uh, fort tower. There's the the place to stand, and then the tower goes from there. Um, yeah, th th now I can see it's uh, all taken shape. All right, there we go. And I guess that goes on the top because the the uh, ladder sprouts out from there and goes down the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Liking it a lot. And uh, this is the other side, what we've seen already. Yeah. Awesome. Right. So, like I said, what I will do is I'm going to assemble these buildings. I'm going to assemble them and show them to you once they are assembled. He says, optimistically, believing he can do that quite rapidly. <laughs> oh dear. Right. So that was the water tower, yeah? Uh, I'll also show you pictures from the website of how they're supposed to look when they're painted and all that stuff. Right, here we go. This is... Uh, uh, this one's actually got a picture with it, so that, that's quite handy. Um, this is Irregular Joe's. Um, Irregular Joe's is... Uh, it's a kind of coffee. It's a kind of coffee. Um, and also a, a cafe. So... Yeah, so when you pull a mad card, sometimes you'll get an irregular Joe's mad card. Wow, I see. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Right, uh, it looks like this one's got some, uh, as you can see on the roof, the roof tiles are like, made of like uh, scraps of this, that, and the other, and they're quite thin. And this looks like that is what it is yeah i'm not sure if that's very thin mdf or card or, or what i i will uh, find out anyway so that's cool i, I wondered how i wondered how that was made I, I thought maybe it's resin or something but no it's uh, certainly some kind of card or um mdf or something right awesome awesome Right, and this one, you spoil them, we oil them. <laughs> this must be the robo room. The robo room. Right, shall I open this one? Shall I literally open this one? Um, right about losing pieces because they do fall out. Um, so what I'll do is I will... I'll assemble it. You can, you can see what it looks like when it's assembled, yeah? Because otherwise it, it's just uh, a bunch of parts. Yeah, but I've... Wow! Yeah? Wow, just wow! Right, here we got a big... Big pack. Another bit of card. Right, this one looks like... Uh, walls for Lunar Coalition. And it is it. I think it's the tower. This is the Lunar Coalition. I can see the the Lunar Coalition symbol there. It looks like it's the uh, the Lunar Coalition watchtower, which is perhaps one of my favourite pieces in the in the thing. Wow, Lunar Coalition stuff again. Uh, slightly different. Uh, more detail on the um, logo there, but even so, totally cool, totally cool. Um, now, is this part of that? I guess I'll find out. Well, right, it's got lots of little parts on it, so. Wow! Wowza! Now, this one. Yeah, this one looks like it is walls. Doing a coalition walls and barriers and stuff. And possibly doors. Um, 
doorways and stuff like that. Yeah. Possibly. Right. Wow. Wow. Freaking wow. Right. Awesome. Back to me. Back to me. Oi. Oi, where are you going? Right, here you are. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to start putting these together. Uh, it might take me a while. So I will... <clears throat> Just bear with me, yeah? Bear with me. Hang in there. I will do one by one. Starting with the one that I opened first, which was... Which was... Da, 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 not irregular Joe's. It was the water tower, yeah? I'll start with the water tower. That's quite a generic piece. You can use it. You can use it in 40k if you're that way inclined. Uh, Malifo, if if you're that way inclined. Um, Judge Dredd, definitely cursed earth. It's very cursed earth. If if uh, anyone still plays Judge Dredd, that they Judge Dredd is between um, editions right now. Uh, but who needs that when you can play this? Um, <clears throat> So, without further ado, I will get my uh, white glue out, PVA glue, dirty mines, and uh, get this uh, water tower together. And you can see the water tower in all its glory. See you in a minute. I did it! I did it! I made something. I made something. Um, it took me well, maybe 45 minutes. And I am not, and I don't like assembling things usually. I'm not an assembler, I'm more of a painter, yeah? Um, so what have we got? Let me, let me show you. Water tower. Water tower. It's still wet. The glue is still wet, yeah? I literally, literally just did it, yeah? Um, using, this is PVA glue, white glue, yeah? Uh, available from... Stationery shops, WH Smiths, um, news agents, supermarkets, whatever. Right. So, like I said, when I was looking at it, uh, these are like uh, circles, big, small, big, small, big, small. Yeah, pretty simple. Um, I didn't even need the instructions up there. I just looked at the picture on the website and it was pretty easy. I'm keeping the top bit separate. Um, it slots on, so it, does, it doesn't move around, uh, just for storage, yeah, because otherwise when I store it, when I chuck it in the, um, the storage bin, um, it's a little bit top heavy and it, it might break some of the thinner bits or something, so I'll just keep this big heavy bit separate. Um, also I haven't, I haven't glued all these slats on yet, um. I did every other one uh, because I'm waiting for it to dry. <laughs> when it's dry, I'll stick the other ones on. Um, yeah. Anyway, I am so happy with this. This is awesome. So you can either have it this way round, which makes sense because they climb up the ladder, the uh, front ladder. They climb up here. They have to walk all the way around to the back and then climb up the other one to get to the top which exposes them, yes. So this is actually really easy, really, really easy to put together. Um, and it's pretty sturdy already. Like the glue is still very wet, but um, that ain't going nowhere. That's solid. Um, yeah, simple, easy, quick, and pretty well detailed look at that i am so happy with that wow right what's up next what's up next let's look in the uh, thing all right next up is irregular joes right this might be a little bit more challenging um but there's a picture on the front so no worries um i will i am gonna have to do this one tomorrow because i've got to go to work me curse you work curse you curse you and your salary <laughs> all right nice one anyway next up is uh irregular joe's cafe see you in a minute i'm back 
I've done it again. I've done it again. Before work, before work. Look what I did. Look what I did. Wow. OMFG. Look at that. Yeah. This is Irregular Joe's Cafe. Purveyor of a fine irregular coffee substitutes. Yeah. Right. So this took me a couple of hours. Um, mainly because I dry fitted the whole thing together because, uh, you know, it's a little bit more complicated than the, uh, the, uh, water tower. Uh, but it is freaking amazing. I'm so happy. Um, obviously the roof comes off. Yeah. The roof comes off. Um, all these bits were all like separate. I just randomly stuck these on and they look awesome. Um, and it's also got the sign kind of, uh, whatever the word is for that embossed, <laughs> engraved, engraved into the front. So no painting skill required, luckily, um, for me. Um, so I'm totally, that's the roof. That's just the roof. I'm, I'm blown away, but I'm looking forward to painting that. I'll tell you. So this is actually, it turns out this is like card mostly. And then I stuck a bit of wood on there, like a big thick block of iron, cast iron, you know, um, the stairs, these stairs pop off, um, just for storage. Uh, that's optional. Uh, and if you look inside, Sorry, let's get the camera sorted out. Whee! There we go. It's got the Irregular Joe's logo on the floor. And that is also engraved, embossed, whatever. Um, it's got a counter in there, yeah? Something to duck behind when there's a shootout. Um, it's got a trap door, which is uh, currently drying. I I'm using that. I wasn't sure what exactly to use. There's a whole bunch of spare bits. So I just use a spare bit and that, that'll fit on there. Um, there are doors for, uh, for these bits. Yeah. So there's a, there's a door. Yeah. Door. Yeah. Door open, door closed, whenever you want. Door off, whenever you want. Um, it's got like counter. Here for takeout, yeah. Both sides, yeah. So you make your order there, you walk around there, or you make your order here, walk around there, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I thought it through. I thought it through. It's got windows, yeah. Windows here, as you can see, like the paneling on the side. Um, so the frame, the wooden frame, the MDF frame, is uh, ooh, like that, yeah. You get the frame, and then these, these card bits stuck uh, stick on the side um so each each of these like panels um is engraved not cut so you can uh, stick the whole thing on in one piece uh each side so it's it looks a lot more complicated than it is um luckily so uh there's another window there i, I might put some tinted glass in there maybe not i don't know I am totally looking forward to painting this. Yeah, it's so awesome. Also, not only that, um, there's also this bit. I haven't sorted this out yet. This is like a, a ramp. It goes up the side to the side door um, or even here or here or anywhere you want to put it basically in your game. Um, and I think this is a guardrail because, you know, customer safety, safety first. Um, I haven't really decided about that yet. Um, but again, that'll take me like, like 20 seconds to stick that on there. Awesome. Um, another thing is I've got a whole bag full of spare bits. Yeah. Uh, so I think there's a door in here somewhere and all kinds of things. Rubble, but I can use them for rubble. Um, a whole bunch of square pieces, not square, rectangular pieces like that, which uh, if you look at the picture, there are like uh, signs, advertising signs and all, all that stuck on the side. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, go and Photoshop, uh, Photoshop like this size uh, poster or 
something i don't know uh, like a menu or I, I don't know and then just stick it like either inside or outside or something like that um and then like weather it up so it, it uh it blends in with the whole the whole thing uh, which is going to be heavily weathered and it's going to look awesome so this obviously obviously could work in 40k if you play orcs or if there's any orcs about or just a, a wasteland thing because you know 40k happens on planets planets aren't all imperial like covered in skulls whatever thing thingy thing thing see that uh, my wealth of knowledge there of 40k malifo this would work excellent in malifo if you play that um or pretty much any game really um it is freaking awesome um judge dread of course yeah goes without saying um but of course this is for waste man and i'm going to be using it for waste man uh, it's still got a clip on it. it's still drying it's literally i literally just uh stuck it together just now um and it is not difficult not difficult at all um you will be seeing this uh in play uh, playthroughs actual plays whatever they're called um and it will be painted um on this is going right to the top of my painting list. However, I still have more things to stick together. Boop. Where are you? Get back here. Right, I've got loads more stuff to stick together. Um, next up is, I don't know, the box is over there. So it's a surprise, it's a surprise. Anyway, see you in a minute. Done it again. But uh, literally, I know, I squeezed out. Another building it took me like 20 30 minutes. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, let's have a look at it. All right, so this is the robo room. Yeah, you spoil them, we oil them. Uh, so this sign was obviously engraved, and uh, this one too. So that's good because it saves me painting it. Um, <clears throat> as you can see. Um, it's basically four MDF walls and a roof, and then uh, the MDF walls have like uh, like patches of brickwork, um, which you stick on the card pieces, which uh, fit exactly, and then you tear out uh, the bit to expose the brickwork. Um, so I, in my haste, I tore out. Uh, too big an area and then i just stuck on some bits i mean it it looks cool same with this one just stuck on some bits of plaster uh, so the plaster's like rotting away and stuff um and this one this one turned out good because i knew what was going on by that time <laughs> and again yeah oh i tore it too big and then i just stuck some bits on it's fine and um, obviously these uh plain flat bits are going to be st stuck with like posters and uh, warning signs and I, I, i'm not even sure what um the roof these these bits are all separate the roof comes off of course of, of, that's optional but uh, i like to be able to go inside the buildings nothing in there right now but there will be um i've got loads of bits and pieces i can just stick in there um i haven't yet stuck it to the base um, I'm not a big fan of basing buildings. I prefer them to blend seamlessly with the terrain. So I might just end up uh, just cutting the bottom bits off here and uh, using just sticking it straight on the on the terrain. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I will, especially if I'm going to put things inside. I haven't decided yet. Anyway. It is looking good and it's very simple um so simple and i didn't even know about this uh, technique of sticking the plaster over the top and having exposed brickwork i it's a new one on me and uh, obviously mdf technology uh, laser cutting whatever it's called <clears throat> technology and uh innovatism innovation <laughs> has improved a lot since my first foray like five or six years ago into MDF, which didn't go very well. Um, this is so much better. Um, uh, totally impressed. Anyway, what's up next? Again, the box is over there. 
I'll surprise you. How about that? I did it again. Stayed up till 2 a.m. making this. Yeah. So, what is it? Let's have a look. Obviously, it's a tower. Um, see if we can get the old thing in there. It's a bit big. Right. This is my favourite model. Although they're all very good. Um, so, as you can see, it, uh, there's like stairs all the way up. You go around, all the way around here. Yeah, and then up the ladder, and then around here, and then into the door. Yeah, and then you pop the top off, and then uh, stick your minis in there. Looking out these, uh, you see, it's like, that's it. Um, so the top comes off, and this turns around, of course, which is really cool. And for storage, this whole thing pops off. Yeah, so it makes it a little bit easier to store. Um, right, this did take me a good couple of hours to. Uh, yeah, it took me a good couple of hours to 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 build. Um, mainly because <coughs> I am such a pedantic person that I literally got a uh, hobby knife or whatever and and uh cut off these little gates i don't know if they're called gates but in if it's resin they're called gates they're like where it's attached to the frame or the sprue there's a little bit of a lump there which is perfectly normal perfectly all right and most people wouldn't even bother doing that because it won't show when it's painted but i'm being the person that i am i had to cut all of these off of every single piece um yeah so that's why it took me so long um it was as far as i'm concerned because i'm uh challenged it uh, was a little bit tricky for me so what i did is i went to the dark ops website and uh to look at a picture so i could if, like kind of guess where bits and pieces went but I, when I got there, I saw that there was a link to a how to build it video, which uh, really, really helped, really, really helped. So um, another thing I have to say about uh, this model and all the other models is, uh, as you can see, where are the joins? Where are like the, uh, not the dovetail joins, but you know what I mean? The, the, uh, the joins like that. You can't see them because they're covered up. All the joins are covered. Yeah, there are joins, but they're all covered up, um, which is a very nice touch. I am so happy about that. Of course, if you turn it upside down, which of course you're not going to do during the game, you can see the joins underneath. Yeah, which is what it looks like underneath. Yeah, and then underneath all this facing, that's what it looks like. But it is. It's got all these uh, detailing. This is Lunar Coalition from the Waste Man game. Um, yeah, I'm freaking happy. I can't wait to paint this and get it on the table to play with. Um, I, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Um, I, because I'm uh, just my personal preference, um, I didn't actually stick it to the base. It's just slotted in there. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep the base. It's very good that they put the base in there um, because, you know, some people like bases. I personally, just a personal thing, I don't like having bases on my buildings. I like them to blend seamlessly, as I've said before, into the terrain, into the mat or whatever I'm using. Um, so I might just take that off and then and then uh, snip off these. Uh, that might make it a little bit unsteady. I, I'll have to see about that. Uh, but that's totally, totally fixable by uh, putting uh, maybe a couple of support bits under the um, under the corners here, uh, so reaching the ground kind of thing. Um, but that's my personal preference. Most people would would not be cutting all these gates off, and most people would just keep this and then do some nice 
shrubbery or a nice little rubble or sandbags or whatever, you know, consoles or whatever, whatever you got lying about. Um, right, there you go. To me, to me, to you, to me. All right, awesome. I've already started doing the next uh, bit of modeling, bit of um, MDF out of the box, which uh, I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to surprise you. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ah! Did it again. Done it again. Oh, your vestments have changed. So, yes, it's the weekend. I'm wearing my uh, Yeoman T-shirt. Yeah, representing in the hood, literally. Um, okay, so I built some more stuff. Actually, I finished building all the stuff. I built all the stuff. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> what have we got right here? Cargo containers. Let me, let me, let me do this. Let me do this. Here we go. Cargo containers. All right. One, two, three, four. There's four of them. Um, one, two, three, four. And they got quite a lot of detail on them. Most of the time, cargo containers are like modern era metal things. Um, you know, you know the ones. Uh, but these are futuristic. These are Lo Lunar Coalition cargo containers. Uh, there's a door in the front with uh, like an opening mechanism. <laughs> Some uh, bits on the side. Probably you could even use this. If you want a dynamic battlefield, you can use these pieces as ladders. Just climb up the side, walk along the top on the nice walkway, highly detailed walkway. Uh, pretty impressed with this. It was uh, very quick to put together. I didn't need any instructions. Um, I just uh, referenced the picture on the website just to make sure I was doing kind of the right thing. But really, you can't go wrong with, with these. Um, so, yeah, I did all these. Um, obviously, on the bottom, there's there's no real detail, but that's the bottom. You're never going to see it. Right. Uh, okay, next. Walls, wall pieces, barricades. Um, so these are the long wall pieces. Of course, they you can just stick them together like that or have them separate or whatever you want. Um, again, <clears throat> they got nice bit of detail on the front. There are three layers, so you got detail on both sides, um, and they vary. So this one's got the Lunar Coalition logo. Um, so there are a couple of different. So there's there's these kind, and then there's the Lunar Coalition kind with blank on one side. Um, again, <clears throat> no need to reference any instructional videos or anything like that. Just put them together very quickly, very easily. Super quick. Um, so those are the long wall pieces. Um, it also comes with <clears throat> some short waller pieces. Uh, same design. Again, they sl they stick together like that. Um, and then these ones have got nice um, holes in the middle. So you can look through and uh, say, who goes there? Friend or foe? Or just shoot. Shoot and then ask questions. That's my motto. And then, not only that, I'll tell you what. Got three of these uh, mini barricades. So that's like uh, providing cover. You can duck and cover behind these. There we go. There we are. Um, again, these are all three-ply. So... Nice bit of detail on the front. Um, solid as well. These are really thick, solid barricades. Yeah, uh, Not heavy though, so don't worry about that. Impressed? Impressed much? Yes. Right. What I'm going to do now, for your benefit, for your, I'm going to just uh, throw down a table of the, all the terrain that I got um, in this collection with some miniatures so you can get an idea of scale and you can get an idea of what it's possible to make. Once you put all this stuff together, uh, it, it will take you like literally one minute just to throw everything on the table at random. You, then you've got a table, right? Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Here we are. This is the table of terrain. It's not even all the pieces. There are a few spare pieces here. 
the uh, ramp, a couple of wall pieces. Uh, okay, so I've included some miniatures in this. There's the GW standard miniature. That's the Chaos Warrior. Uh, it's not Primaris. <laughs> um, there's uh, the uh, Militia. That's it, Militia. There's... Oh, there's a cat. Woo. Anyway, so this is the water tower with the Wasteman miniature on it. As you can see, it's uh, perfect for 28mm, perfect for 35mm, which is Wasteman scale. Um, there's the uh, cargo containers. There's a cat. Yeah, luckily, somehow I didn't smash everything up. Um, there's a, see the, the stairs and uh, the walkways and that. There's plenty of space, even for larger miniatures, even, uh, even for larger miniatures than this. Um, this is, what are you doing? Sorry, my cat's walking on my keyboard. Right. Uh, and also in here, I've put, maybe you can see him. There he is. He's in there. He's in there. Believe me. If you don't believe me, here you go. So there's someone in there. Obviously, because it's quite a tall tower, if you put someone in there, you need him to have like a long range weapon, like quite a long range, because it's a... Uh, Quite a distance to the ground. Um, okay, let's put that back. Right, who's inside? Who's inside here? Let's have a look. Oh, look, it's the cook, the crazy cook. Um, behind the counter, which you can duck and cover behind, it's exactly the right height. Um, there's uh, Handyman Sam, I've forgotten his name, he's outside. Again, walkways are perfect for. Uh, placing miniatures. Uh, the stairs are also good. You can place miniatures on the stairs. They won't fall down Depending on their base, I think but yeah, I mean what more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? Right, let's have a quick uh, shot of the whole thing Yeah, there we are From multiple angles money shots all around money shots all around look at that Wow and this literally took me like 20 seconds to throw down on the table. Um, no thought involved. Um, just sl sling it on the table. I am so happy with this. Obviously, it will look so much better when it's painted. Uh, but even like this, even like this, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, mo a lot of people wouldn't even bother painting it. But, you know, I I'm not a lot of people. I'm not a lot of people, right. Anyway. You're getting seasick, I will return to the studio. Apologies for the sound in that last video, I was using my uh, iPhone. So, uh, just to wrap up, uh, I'm totally impressed. Uh, obviously, I've said it a million times. I didn't even know that uh, card could be used effectively in uh, the building of MDF terrain. This is new tech for me, uh, amazing. Um, the etching is really good. Um, I really love the fact that all the joins are covered up. I don't know if that's industry standard or, or just dark ops, but uh, well done, mate. Awesome. Um, another thing is my wife. She isn't a tabletop gamer. She's never seen MDF used apart from like, on a building site. <laughs> So, when she saw this, she was like, oh, what's that? What's that made of? I'm quite interested. And I said, oh, it's like like wood, MDF. Um, and she's like, oh, wow, I didn't even know that was possible. And then she was like asking me, like, what's this? I said, it's a cargo container. And she said, oh, it's pretty good. But you could even use them. There we go. You could use them as columns, which blew my mind. Yeah. So, like this, you know, like in... Uh, Zone Mortalis or like uh, the, the what's that other game Necromunda or that that kind of thing you get that kind of feel from uh, having a bunch of these columns about um, you know just uh, just another idea and an option uh, from someone who thinks laterally about these things and doesn't just think oh it's a cargo container I must put it like this anyway totally impressed um, wow wow and uh, again uh, you uh, regarding the card uh like this this kind of effects this 3d effect and uh yeah yeah totally 
thumbs up. Easy to put together, instant terrain. You don't even have to paint it. Yeah, anyway, what's, what, what, what's a no-brainer, really? Anyway, thank you. Uh, see you on the tabletop. My camera, my new camera is on its way. It's probably over the Pacific right now. No, not the Pacific. It's probably over Mongolia right now. Getting uh, delivered. So I will be doing some uh, games on the table. I will paint these up as well. All this stuff that might take me a while. Um, but anyway, you'll see it on the table. We'll paint it up. Looking good. Anyway, cheers. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, so, try or not try, there is no do. Don't forget that.